Good day ladies and gentlemen, this is Professor Ma. It was reported in Channel News Asia, www.channelnewsasia.com, two hours ago that about 1 billion Singapore dollars, 736 million United States dollars, in assets, including properties, vehicles, luxury goods and gold bars, have been seized or frozen in one of Singapore's largest police probes into money laundering and forgery offenses. Ten people, aged between 31 and 44, were charged in court on Wednesday, the 16th of August 2023, night in connection with the investigation. They are, Su Hyjin, a 40-year-old Cyprus national, arrested in a GCB. Along Uwert Park in the Holland area, charged with one count of resisting lawful apprehension, Vang Shweming, a 42-year-old Turkey national, arrested in a GCB. Along Bishopsgate in the Tanglin area, charged with one count of using a forged document. Zhang Raijin, a 44-year-old China national and Lin Baoying, a 43-year-old China national, arrested in a bungalow along Pearl Island at Sentosa Cove. Both charged with one count each of forgery for the purpose of cheating. Su Baolin, a 41-year-old Cambodia national, arrested in a GCB. Along Nasim Road, charged with one count of using a forged document. Su Jianfeng, a 35-year-old Ni Vanuatu national, arrested in a GCB. Along 3rd Avenue near Bukit Timah, charged with one count of money laundering. Chen Qingyuan, a 33-year-old Cambodia national, arrested in a condominium along Leone Hill Road in the River Valley area. Charged with one count of money laundering. Wang Dehai, a 34-year-old Cyprus national, arrested in a condominium along Patterson Hill in the Orchard area. Charged with one count of money laundering. Wang Baosin, a 31-year-old China national, arrested in a condominium along Tomlinson Road in the Tanglin area. Charged with one count of money laundering. Su Wencheng, a 31-year-old Cambodia national, arrested in a GCB. Along Lewis Road in the Bukit Timah area, charged with one count of money laundering. All 10 people have been remanded. 12 others are assisting with investigations while 8 more are wanted by the police. These persons are believed to have connections among themselves. All the persons involved are neither Singapore citizens nor permanent residents, said the police. The nine men and one woman were arrested in simultaneous raids at multiple locations island-wide, including at good-class bungalows, GCB, and condominiums. According to the police, some of the suspects lived in GCBs in the Holland and Nassim Road area. The police said they acted on information about possible illicit activities, including the use of suspected forged documents that were used to substantiate the source of funds in Singapore bank accounts. Through extensive investigations, including the analysis of suspicious transaction reports, the police identified a group of foreigners suspected to be involved in laundering proceeds from their organized crime activities overseas. These activities include scams and online gambling. More than 400 officers, from the Commercial Affairs Department, the Criminal Investigation Department, Special Operations Command and the Police Intelligence Department, mounted simultaneous raids at multiple locations across Singapore on Tuesday, 15 August 2023. Prohibition of disposal orders were issued against 94 properties and 50 vehicles, with a total estimated value of more than 815 million Singapore dollars, as well as multiple ornaments and bottles of liquor and wine. The authorities seized more than 35 related bank accounts with a total estimated balance of more than 110 million Singapore dollars for investigations and to prevent the dissipation of suspected criminal proceeds. Also confiscated was cash amounting to more than 23 million Singapore dollars, over 250 luxury bags and watches, more than 120 electronic devices such as computers and mobile phones, more than 270 pieces of jewelry, two gold bars, as well as 11 documents with information on virtual assets. So why did the money launderers use Singapore as their base? All of the suspects are ethnic Chinese, and Singapore is one of the very few financial hubs in the world where rich ethnic Chinese do not stick out conspicuously. Before 1997, Hong Kong would most likely have been the choice location, but with Hong Kong now under Chinese rule, Singapore is probably the new Hong Kong, so to speak. In subsequent videos, Professor Ma will explain more aspects of life. In the meantime, please help by liking and by subscribing. Thank you.